Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I have not done this in three months. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is going to be quick because I also don't know if my camera's just going to die on me. <sighs> I am stressed. I am stressed pretty much every single morning because I still don't know where I'm living. But I have to pack my stuff and obviously I'm not packed. Um, so I'm going to start taking down like stuff off the wall, which I mean, I didn't really decorate in this place because I knew I was only going to live here for a year. That's just kind of regret for not like renewing my lease, but we also have a mice problem. So I'm like not that regretful, but yeah, I need to start taking the stuff off the walls. Um, and I need to start packing my crap I have viewings this week and hopefully I find a place this week because I really need to just find a place I'm back my camera died um, but essentially I was just saying it's disappointing um, or discouraging more rather because when you're looking for places to live and you find all the you know the place that has that meets all your requirements and then you look at the reviews on Yelp and on Google and just everywhere and they're terrible and it talks about how it's unsafe or how for a person of color don't live here um, it just gets really discouraging and also cost of living in the greater Denver area is average nineteen hundred to two thousand dollars like truly and it's like not even for a lot of space so yeah I'm uh, not having the best time I'm really stressed and I have to pack up this week because I have to be out of this space soon I have a backup plan so I'm not gonna be homeless but I need a place to stay like I need a place to live and it's gonna suck having to move twice if I go with my backup plan. So I'm really hoping I can find a place this week. I have more viewings this week, so I'm really hoping I can find a place this week because I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Anyways, I'm gonna start packing later today. I have some errands that I have to run. I have today off. And I also have the rest of the week off. I have one day that I'm going to be in office, but majority of this week I'm off, which is great. So exciting stuff, but also it's just really stressful trying to find a place to live. I feel like I'm going to look back on this and, and laugh, but I'm also just like, I need to start saving for a house. I need to start saving for a down payment for a house because this is crazy almost a whole day later all the stuff on the walls are down so yeah sorry if that was just dis disorienting <laughs> for you but um i basically slept all day i had a nap and i guess i just really needed to sleep and <laughs> yeah so I'm gonna go in here. I have a bunch of these like containers. They're black containers with yellow tops that I bought from Costco. And then I have some gray containers in the corner here. I'm gonna bring them all out and bring them by the window and start packing my crap. Uh, yeah, so I need to start clearing things out, getting things sorted. I'll show you what everything's looking like kind of after. Yeah, I'll show you what everything's looking like afterwards, but so far we're still fully present here and we need to be making progress with moving. Oh, I'm, okay, that's not overexposed anymore. So yeah, 
I'm still really stressed because I have no idea where I'm living. <laughs> I mean, I have a backup plan, so I know that I could potentially live with a friend, but I would really like to live with myself. So I'm hoping by the end of this week, I know where I'm living. I'm really hoping. I'm viewing more places this week. So <laughs> I'm trying not to stress about it. I'm trying. So I already made progress. I have three bins filled. Need to put a top on that. Ugh. Okay. Three bins filled of like clothes and books can see inside my closet looking a lot more bare which is nice still a mess this is also getting cleared out a lot of stuff down there I need to shred but there's that And then obviously bathroom is looking crazy, but underneath here is basically all in there, along with some stuff that was in that little linen closet here. So really glad that I put down contact paper because then it just stains that and you don't have to worry. So it makes it easier when you move out to clean I did the same thing on this side but this side always has cleaning stuff so like it's always been pretty bare and I'm leaving that till the end because and these stains are already there when I moved in which is why I didn't touch that so yeah I mean we're we're looking as good as we can. I also, oh my God. Okay, I don't know what happened, why this is so close, but I hate it. Anyways, um, I basically packed away a majority of my books. I don't know what's going on, but I feel like the Zoom is weird. Anyways. I don't, I don't know. I packed my DVDs first. And then what I do is kind of fill the bottom of the bins with books first, like a layer of books. And then I do clothes and stuff like that. So I'm going to do that for a couple more because I have shoes that I need to put in there. So yeah, packing is, um, it's coming along. It's coming along a lot quicker than I expected, but I also don't have a lot of stuff, so I'm feeling a lot better about the situation because when I first started, I was like overwhelmed. And then I remembered starting with DVDs is what helps me get going and not feel as overwhelmed by packing. So. Things are, are looking at. And I have a lot of bins. And if I need more bins, I can get more bins. So, and the great thing is, they're reusable. And they're stackable. And they're great. Because my big furniture items are my bed, my nightstand, my desk, the media console, the coffee table, this mirror. And then I have like one, two bookshelves. Yeah, I just have two bookshelves. So it's going. I'm feeling better about this. It's weird coming into my room and just boxes everywhere. 
and the fact that my walls are like completely bare now. There's fireworks happening. Pop off, sis. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just weird kind of coming back into my place and things are packed up. It's making this more real and real that I'm not going to be in this space that much longer. Man, oh man. This is crazy. I need to take a shower. I mean, even these walls here and this wall. Very bare. It's really weird. All of that. Pretty, pretty wild. All right, so it's a few days later. Still don't know where I'm living. <laughs> but I'm trying not to stress about it. Um, I don't know if I've shared, but like my top things that I'm looking for in a place is safety. Safe parking. So safety for me in general, I need to feel safe in my environment. Safe parking because people's cars have been getting broken into slash stolen. Don't want to deal with that. In unit laundry central AC because it does get really hot in Colorado in the summer and also like being able to have heating and stuff like that in the winter is going to be prime and yeah I think I said in unit laundry central AC parking and then just overall safety and then you know obviously affordability I want it to be affordable so we shall see but I'm hoping by the end of this week I know what my next step is. So, regardless, I'm not going to be homeless, thank God. Because I have a backup plan. But being an adult is so hard. You have to make all these decisions. And, like, plan your life. And things have worked out for me, which has been great, but it doesn't mean that things haven't been challenging or hard or scary or difficult honestly during this time there's been a lot going on I've had a lot of just really complicated heavy stuff going on in all aspects of my life with work with my health with living situation <sighs> yeah Part of me is just like, I should have just renewed here and taken this spot, but we had a little bit of an issue in our kitchen that is like causing me not to like want to renew here. And I can't anyways, because there's a new tenant moving in the next day. So once their lease is up, they move in literally the following day. So yeah. It's crazy. It is honestly so crazy. But yeah, I'm just praying and trying to leave it in God's hand and try not to be overwhelmed by thinking of, of, of everything because it's honestly a lot, especially with the health stuff, especially with trying to find a place to live. And I just want to know I want to know what's going on, but there's a lot of answers that I just don't have. There's a lot of things that I don't know, and I want to know. So, yeah. It's kind of a difficult season, difficult situation, but I'm trying, so... I'm just really thankful for my community because my support system has been really great. My community has been great. My friends have been really great and supportive and positive. But, you know, I get in my head about a lot of things and I get like, I'm a control freak and a perfectionist. And I get stressed out easily. <laughs> so 
things I'm learning about myself and accepting and trying to move forward. <sighs> yeah. So, I am uh, going to go to sleep here very soon. going to read a little bit and then go to bed. I mean, I'm in bed. Go to sleep. And I'm going to see if I can check in with y'all tomorrow and hopefully I have more answers tomorrow or the following day. I really hope I find a place that just meets my requirements and is affordable. Because <sighs> rent out here costing $2,000 is just... I wish it wasn't so. I wish it wasn't so. It kind of sucks. Anyways, that's probably too close for comfort, but I'm gonna check in with y'all later. Try not to be stressed because if I am stressed, I'm gonna get overwhelmed and then I'm gonna get a panic attack. And I'm over having panic attacks. They suck. They suck so much. So I have to remain calm and I just have to put this in the Lord's hands because he's worked things out for me before and it's gonna work out now. I just have to trust and have faith, but I also gotta do my part. I also gotta do my part. But I wanna not do it. I want to unsubscribe from being an adult sometimes. <laughs> what? Need for you to fix my hair. Okay. Oh, Grandma, I have a I have a surprise for you. It's not a good surprise. Oh no. So you know how we have a mouse trap and stuff? Yeah. I noticed that one of the mouse traps on the under the stove was moved and I was like oh just look under there's a dead mouse there yeah so I have to like I need to grab gloves no problem we can get it done okay here hold on hold on I got it well, let's check this one and see what's going on there oh there's one in there too isn't it I think so let me see oh I really hate this let me see this. It feels kind of heavy. It was eating. Hold on, let me see. No, it's nothing in there. The food is in there. Okay, then put it back down because if it catches more. It's eating the food. And yeah. The food is what? Killing them. Oh, good. Oh, boy, that's a big one. Ew. It's that's good. Ooh. So I went to view a place today, a place online that looks really, really great. And in person looked so bad, so bad. So my number one advice, if you are able, I understand not everyone's in the position to view places that they're renting or buying. Not that I'm buying, cause I literally cannot afford to buy at all whatsoever. Have, no, no, I cannot. Um, so I'm renting, but if you're able, please view the place before you decide to fill out an application and put a deposit down because you need to know what you're getting because people can put a picture of what a place looks like. And this this place, I looked at it and I was like, oh, the price is right. It's a little small, but the price is right. And I mean, it's like really within my budget, like on the lower end of my but my my lower end of the scale for my budget which is where i would like to be honestly and um it like fit all of my needs on paper and then when i go to view it there's cabinetry that's been literally yanked out like you can tell it's been like ripped apart and there's wires poking out of the walls and 
the person who's like showing me like the real estate agent who's letting me like into the place was like oh my property manager like i guess didn't like fill us in on this or whatever so like they didn't know um and they're like but this is a very new property so i'm not really sure and it wasn't really cleaned it was it was as though like they just built it and were like okay now move in without cleaning all the debris and stuff and i'm like there's still wires hanging out there's nails that are poking out like a lot of safety hazards (laughs) And although it's like on the lower end of my, you know, scale of the budget, I'm just like, this is not worth it at all. It should be worth even less. But because it looks so nice on the outside, they can get away with like charging out the wazoo. So, and then I just, I really don't want to live in an apartment because... I'm just not satisfied with the reviews from apartment places. Like, it would be different if I was living with someone and I had a roommate. But living by myself, it just feels like so much more pressure. And it just sucks. And I'd honestly just rather live in a house and rent a house. And so I went on, I've been going on Zillow a lot. And I found more and more popped up recently, which was really nice. That kind of fit my my budget. Definitely on the higher end of my budget, which I'm just like, you know what? If I don't have to worry about an apartment complex, that is fine. I can just live in a neighborhood because that, that is honestly what I prefer. And the houses that I've seen today have been like on zillow recently are really really cute and really nice and fit my needs but i'm still like requesting to tour them because literally it's so easy to get catfished out here it's so easy to get catfished out here anywhere anywhere and it's so discouraging and i know it's gonna work out like i know i'm gonna find a place to live i have temporary housing if needed but it's still like very discouraging and defeating to like go to apartment complex after apartment complex and it not be right. Or you can't even view the place because you call and they're like, oh, they just submitted the holding deposit. So we're taking that off the market. And it's like a really nice apartment that fits your needs, but then it just gets swiped away so quickly and it's just so competitive to like find a place to live it's honestly really stressful and it's stressing me out and i'm trying not to let it but i'm like i have moments of like i feel good i'm, I'm for sure gonna find a place to live and then i have moments of just like i'm not and i feel like when i'm viewing places i feel okay but it's when I'm looking at reviews for apartment complexes when I feel very discouraged because safety is so huge to me and it's just not, there's so many places that are just unsafe, especially with parking garages and then people stealing your mail. And I'm just like, and I have no desire to live downtown. I have no desire to live downtown at all. And I have friends who do and I'm like, that's good for you but like i just i'm paranoid i worry like i literally have anxiety literally have anxiety um so yeah the search continues for a place to you know live and i'm really hoping i can find a house to rent and i'm hoping that i can look back on this and be like oh what a fun stressful time that i went to but thank god i found a place and it was funny my mentor from my previous job was like you know everything works out like at the last second and it works out when it needs to be and i'm like you know you're right and also i'm just like god has always provided for me And he's provided for me exactly when I need it. And I just have to trust. And I'm, I know I don't have a lot of faith right now, but I'm just, I need to put 
it in his hands and know that it's going to be okay and pray about it. But I'm still so stressed. Like I found a really nice place. A really nice place. Several really nice places on Zillow. And I'm just like, please, please let one of them work out. Please let me like view a place, let them meet me and do a background check on me and they will know. They will know. It's going to work out. It has.